Your love is hocus pocus. This is the reason why in the world you don't see so much love and you see so much hate. You listen too much talk about love in the world. Everybody is loving everybody else, talking about love. But it is all talk. Ya keti, ya keti, ya. <laughs> it goes on and on all over the world. Everybody is talking about love. Beautiful dialogues. But in fact you see hate everywhere. Religions hate each other, nations hate each other, political parties hate each other, classes hate each other. You just go on looking and you will be surprised How many sources of hate are there? And every ten year, twelve year, and you need a world war. So much hate and still it gets accumulated. Every day you go on expressing that's separate. Still it goes on accumulating so much that every ten, twenty years it explodes into a world war. In three thousand years five thousand wars have been fought in the world. Who is responsible? the good doers who are continuously after you, teaching you about love, kindness, compassion. Nobody teaches you about hate. Still it is there far more strong, far more vibrant and young and fresh. I would like a time to come when nobody teaches you about love either. You should be left alone. you should be told to be more aware of whatsoever happens to you, hate or love. That is impo not important. What is important is that if you hate, hate with awareness. If you love, love with awareness. If I was going to teach you, I will not tell you whom to love, how to love. That is all nonsense. Love is your intrinsic quality. You are born with it, just as hate is there. I will teach you be aware before anything happens to you, love or hate, anger, passion, compassion, anything, you be aware. 
let everything arise out of your awareness. And the miracle of awareness is that without saying anything, without doing anything, it simply dissolves all that is ugly in you into all that is beautiful. It is a transformating force. For example, if you are aware of anger, it will disappear. If you are aware of love, it will become more stronger. If there is hate and you become aware of it, it will disappear. Disappear. Soon you will find that cloud of hatred has disappeared. And instead, a totally opposite quality, a mixture of compassion, kindness, lovingness, has been left behind like an aroma. To me this is the criterion whatsoever deepens with your awareness is virtue. Whatsoever disappears with your awareness is sin. To me, this is the definition. I don't label any act as sin, virtue, right, wrong. Acts don't have that quality. It is your awareness. You just try it and you will be simply amazed that there are things in you which cannot stand in front of awareness. They simply disappear. Awareness functions almost like magic. And what I am saying, you can experiment. I am not telling you to believe in it, because belief will not help. You will have to experiment it. You will have to see with the different things in you what remains and what disappears. And it is only you who can find what is right for you and what is wrong for you. Then keep the thread of awareness running through all your actions. And in your life you will not find any hate any anger, any jealousy. Not that you have dropped them, not that you have repressed them, not that you have somehow got rid of them, not that you have practiced against them. No, you have not done anything, you have not even touched them. And this is the beauty of awareness. It never represses anything. But there are things which simply melt in the light of awareness. Mm.